I'm Matt Newsom. I'm the engineering manager at Red Hat responsible for the tool chain. So specifically GCC, glibc, and binutils, and a number of ancillary tools uh, for building RHEL and for building applications for RHEL. Developer Toolset is a set of additional tools um, that complement the tools you have in the base operating system. And it gives you a newer compiler, the latest stable version from upstream, and uh, a number of complementary tools, uh, performance analysis, and debugging. When we put a version of GCC, for example, the C and C++ compiler into base RHEL, we stand behind that for customers with a service level guarantee for 10 years. And so uh, we will fix security issues and major bugs that come up. What we find, however, is that over time, uh, the distance between upstream and the version in RHEL becomes greater. And we had many requests from customers for a newer set of tools uh, closer to the upstream. Developer Toolset provides those newer tools and uh, sits alongside the system tools, so you have the option of using either the, uh, the stable system version or getting the newer uh, features from the, the newer version. Because the newer version sits alongside, uh, when you build a binary with those uh, developer toolset tools, you're actually just able to take the binary and put it on normal RHEL. There's no extra libraries or runtime that you need to put alongside it. From a developer's perspective, there are a number of real advantages to using developer toolset. Uh, so you have newer standard support, for example, um, C++ 11, 14, 17. Uh, you have OpenMP, and you have access to newer dwarf debug support. Uh, that's just in the tool chain. In the, uh, the other tools, the performance analysis tools, we're similarly tracking with the upstream, and so many new features are coming in. Some of the key users of developer toolset are in areas like uh, the financial markets, in uh, the animation studios, and the national labs. And they find there's a real benefit from having access to these newer tools. As a developer, one of the things I think is really useful in developer toolset GCC is the access to the newer standards. So C++11 and C++14 are already in there and fully supported, and C++17 is already well on its way. The overlap between the upstream community process and the open standards process is actually very significant, and Red Hat is a major contributor to both. Uh, it's a community and collaborative effort, but uh, we are there in the standards meetings help define the next version of the language, and we are taking that through to the prototype or often prototype version in GCC as well. As a great example of Red Hat's participation and contribution to the upstream process, uh, we have one of the three release managers for GCC upstream worldwide. We have a number of the steering committee members on the Red Hat staff, and there are a number of, uh, a very large number of maintainers and, and significant contributors to the upstream project. When you build a binary with developer toolset, you're actually taking advantage of something we designed in called the hybrid linkage model. And what that means is you don't need to carry extra libraries with your binary, and for the most part, you're using the runtime that is in base rel. So if you get a security vulnerability in a library in, in glibc or libstandard C++, uh, then a conventional fix for rel will actually solve that for you. In terms of support, developer toolset typically releases in the fall of each year. About six months later, there'll be a point update with uh, bug fixes and, and minor updates. And then uh, it will remain in support for a further 18 months after that point. So it's a two-year life cycle uh, with a new version every 12 months. And uh, typically, we, we see cu customers move from one version to the next major version. Developer Toolset includes a number of initiatives for containers. So you can get Docker files within the product. Additionally, from the Red Hat registry, you can go and just grab a container image. Uh, we've done some light experimentation around that by taking uh, a RHEL 7 base with developer toolset on top, moving it over to Fedora, and we found that you can build in there, you can map in your source directories, and so on. Now, obviously, we'd ask in terms of support that you reproduce any kind of bug on a base RHEL 7 system, uh, but from our experiments, it seems to work great.